What is up YouTube? That's here today. We are back doing more Pokemon VDZ 2023 Series 2 Team Fixing. This team is another one of the amazing teams submitted to me on Patreon. If you guys have a team you want me to take a look at, do my very best to fix. Even the lowest tier gets access to these little team fixing submissions posts. This team's done by Aquari. You can actually see their team right here. I love the write-ups you guys are doing for these teams. It, I read this and I know exactly what you want me to keep, exactly what you want me to improve on, exactly what you want replaced or want cut, and I can Fix your teams better the more descriptive you are with these. So I love that you guys take the time to write this out. They generally think that the meta is going to be built around Iron Bundle and Flutter Meme, which, you know, this was submitted just about a week ago. So it's looking like it is going to be built around those bonds. I like to think of Iron Bundle as kind of like the new Regilecki and, you know, Flutter Main, Iron Hands, both really, really good mons, which this, uh, this whole list actually talks a lot about. The team in question is going to be right here. I love this Encore Disable Screamtail. I think it's so cool with a little bit of speed control and Thunder Wave. Really, really cool stuff. I think it's very, very cool. We'll definitely be building around that. Scizor, another great mod for dealing with both of those options that they mentioned. Roaring Moon, we're going to be able to tweak this a little bit, but Booster Energy, Roaring Moon, very, very good mod. Road Some Heat's another very, very good mod as well. I think it does a good job against both of those mons, and Willowbus is going to be great for dealing with Iron Hands, so we're going to heat great mon. Iron Treads, I'm seeing this guy pop up a lot. I'm not convinced on Iron Treads, but we're going to do our very best to use it, which is why we're going to be using this team in some live games. And Water Play in Turtles, it's like a water incineroar thing so pretty good stuff this is the standard set from san diego with like mirror herb. you basically intimidate something to activate its defiant and then you mirror herb copy those boosts to give yourself a plus two so pretty standard set again um you guys can use this rental team on paper not gonna lie this is a pretty cool team already there's not gonna be that many ching things we can probably change in this team so i would actually say add this rental team to your own games it's great for testing and you can even use it in those online best of three tournaments that i've been playing in on limitless and to transition into that what do you guys actually think of all the online best of three content that i've been doing lately let me know i want you guys to be honest because i don't want to keep doing that sort of super serious tryhard stuff if like a lot of you guys don't like it and you just want to see memes so let me know if you guys like the best of three content the tournament content and the open team sheet content and without further ado we're gonna hop right into these games wish me luck here we go Okay, first game's going up against a little bit of slacking. I don't know how big of a deal that is, because, like, I think we would just... I think we would just use Tauros to deal with that, and then we would... I wonder what the slacking set is, because, like, I feel like we could definitely dumpster it with a lot of different stuff. What Terra is this Rotom? Hopefully this Rotom's Ghost Terra, maybe? Electric Terra on Rotom, because, like, we could just Will Wisp it. Think about it. I don't see a problem with weeding Tauros, though. I think that's still a great mon. Because you just get Intimidate the Slacking, and then you just cycle the Intimidates. So that plus Screamtail is really good. And then they're going to go with the copy ability on my Tauros, which is going to Intimidate me. So we want them to copy an ability that's bad. We don't technically have anything that's bad, but we can make them copy, like, Iron Treads, which is probably good enough. And then, realistically, we're, what are we terrorizing here? I guess Roaring Moon's okay. I don't really like Roaring Moon versus Titar, so I'm going to bring Scizor. Scizor's great versus Titar and the uh, the Toad Scroll back there. Scizor's just a great pivot as well. So let's see how this works. We have Water Terra as well. Pretty unique Terrastalize option on the Scizor. So let's see what they want to do. Um, we're definitely making them, like, over-respect... Sorry, we are definitely the ones over-respecting the slacking combo. They can just go, like, T-Tar and stuff, but let's see it. Okay. Yeah, this is great for us. Just Thunder Wave one. Let's see, who do we want to Thunder Wave? Because we can also just go with, like, straight Encore into the slacking. He's going to be able to attack everything over and over and over and over again. But then we can just disable it the immediate next turn, and then he's like, oh, no... And then we get a free Thunder Wave on the pivot. Either way, we know that we're swapping in here. And we're just going to go for a Thunder Wave. I think a Thunder Wave is the right play. You don't need to go for a D-Boom just yet. And if you want to taunt, you can taunt, but I doubt it. I doubt it. The Social Bowl. Social Bowl. Alright. Do There it is. And it's going to fail. I wonder... Oh, can you not copy those abilities? Huh. I wonder why it failed. Because you doodle an opponent's ability and it makes everything have the same ability. Oh, now it's now it's sad. Oh, what the heck is this? This is going to be a weird game because now I'm going to disable that. 
and then it's not going to be able to do anything. Or do I encore that? I encore that, yeah. Alright, and so we're actually a uh, steel ground type, so we can just go for an iron hit here. Yeah, so we're just going to encore that. Got to gotta few maxes encores. There's the doodle. Yeah, it's not going to work. Huh. I didn't know you couldn't doodle those, those moves. I, I had no idea, actually. Nice. So you're stuck using bulk up. And normally, that would, uh... Normally, eventually, they'd get out of the Encore loop. But, like, now they're going to be stuck in the Struggle loop. And the Disable. If you have Taunt, you have Taunt. But, like, I don't really care. Let's see if we have Dark Terra. I think you would be Dark Terra on this uh, Scream Tail realistically to be avoiding Pranksters. So if Prankster taunts, like, you might want to think about going Dark Terra on the Scream Tail. But that's probably like, the only, like, change I'd make here. From from this first game. <laughs> This guy's like, what is this? Oh, dude, they're swapping it. Cool, go for it. They know I have Disable. Alright, what is this? Awesome, so we can switch into Taurus there and get our boost. Parting shot to bring that thing back out. Yeah, let's see how this goes. Um, hmm. Parting shot, doodle. I don't think you... I, I think that you just can't doodle these uh, Paradox Mons. Let me know in the comments. I have not... I, I don't think the doodle combo is good. That's the thing. Is like, I don't think it's that good. It loses a, like, follow me. It loses to so... Not follow me, but it loses to so many different things. Basically, when you doodle, you target a Mon, and it makes all your Mons the same ability as that one. But I, I guess it doesn't work on Paradox Mons. There's the T-Tar. So they've shown all their tech. This T-Tar swapping in on a stabbed Iron Head. T-Y. Disable fails because he was targeting a slacking slot. But, like, Tassel is good here. Especially if I wanted to fairy, double dip my Fairy Terror, we'd be able to finish off the T-Tar for sure. Um, and then what's our... We have Grass Terra on this guy. I think you just go after the uh, T-Tar here and just Thunder Wave the Annihilate. You can totally go for, like, some sort of Final Gambit play, and I don't think that's a problem for me. Yeah, I think you just leave in Speed Control on the Scrimtail, and you're good to go. Alright, so they are not Scarfed Annihilate which means they are susceptible to the wave of thunder. Unless we miss. Yeah. Woke up, Dream Punch. I mean, what, what am I gonna do, you know? It sucks to be me, right? Sucks to be me. What do we actually have to deal with that guy in the back? We have a Knight, we have a Tauros. I guess Tauros is probably the best, because we get a, a proc to our Mirror Earth. But we, I'd like to Thunder Wave that thing. That'd be kind of nice. Don't want to lock into Drain Punch yet. We can disable that Drain Punch though, and then we can Encore that. I think. There's so many unique things you can do here. Dude, it's just good. It's just good, man. We can Encore that T-Tar into Disable. Sorry, into, into Protect right now. Like, there's there's so many things you can do here. There's the Protect. That's, an, that's Encore. That's Encore Disable. Okay, that guy's down. Yeah, dude, that's it. Dude, we got this on lock right now, man. Dude, this is this Screamtail set. Like, and we missed a T-Wave, too. Imagine if we didn't, you know? So you can set out slacking. Um, it can use any attack at once, once, and then we'll just Encore Disable with it. Because we're going to Encore the Annihilate right now and leave it into Protect. You have to send out the, the uh, Prankster Mon. That's not it. Hey, go nuts. I'll just go for a knockoff into that slot, I guess. And we'll encore the knife. Remember to PP max those moves. Ooh, we're knocking off. Yeah, Papa Berry. Cool. Happy to get that berry off the board. There's the encore here. You can attack one thing with that slacking. I'm going to EQ or something. Shadow Claw. Go for it. It's good damage. Could we do a lot? We haven't eaten a Papa Berry, but like. We'll see what happens. All right, so I think we just disable that. And we go for an Iron Head into the Annihilate slot because it's probably going to be pivoting for the other guy. We could even go Encore. Yeah, we could Encore Shadow Claw and then disable that. No, that would, yeah, he has to look around this turn. Yep. 
cool. Yeah, we're gonna get we're gonna get an encore to Sable Lock in the first game, bro. Oh my gosh, this is so savage. That's really really cool. We just have to seal up the annihilate slot. And there's two turns left on the encore on the annihilate, so like, yeah, Yuzio takes like a ton of damage this turn, or he lose. There's the truant. So now we can just click disable. And he's gonna get that struggle bus going. Gotta have those PG Maxes most on course though. They're thinking about switching. Go for it. I mean, it's your only shot. You gotta switch out the slacking here. He gets a double protect. Unlucky. Unlucky for sure. Yep. Unlucky me. And there's the disable. So if you're disabling the move we encore, which was Shadow Claw. So. And. And we just encore the Annihilate now. You don't need to Terrastalize. We're gonna run out of Encores though, man. But this is really cool. <laughs> nice. You guys ready to see the Struggle Bus in a couple turns? So that's going to be up next turn. And it's weird having... I think I just have to re-encore that thing over there. Yeah. I don't really need to re-encore it, like, realistically. You can... No, I'm going to hit it anyways. It's my last encore, though. Yeah. There's a protect there. We re it should be able to re be re encore but it's hard to say. I don't know if you can encore something that's being disabled. Like, I don't know if you can, and this is something where I'm warning something. It's gonna fail, right? Okay, I'm just curious. Just curious. Facade, yeah. It's okay. I learned something new. So, encore disable is really cool, but it's it's hard to wear it up correctly. But we still got the right monster win this one. Oh, there's gonna go Taurus here. And we're gonna activate our mirror herb. So, we're gonna intimidate the defiant mon, right? Thus, giving us all the boosts we could ever ask for. Because Defiance can activate, they're going to get a plus two, and then we're going to use our Mirror to copy their boosts. So really, really cool stuff. I liked it a lot. And I'm really happy to see, um, what is it, Facade on that slacking. I thought about going for like a Rotom set to just like go for a Will-O-Wisp into it, and I'm happy that I didn't do that, just because uh, I, I didn't have to. <laughs> like, they would have just Facaded and destroyed us. Raging Bull should hit us, right? Should hit them? So this has no effect, but it becomes water. So they swap that thing out. So that thing's gone. You are gone. Hey, Picasso. Denzo. Yep. And Raging Bull. Water type. Big damage. Yeah, they were stuck there, remember? They were still encored. Is that a pinch or citrus? Pinch would be problematic. Yeah, Citrus is fine, though. Could be out speed already. I'm right, gonna take that guy out so we can just Iron Head into the Slack King and go for the uh, Raging Bull into the, to into the Prime if we win. So. Or an Eyelid, sorry. What a cool team! I think this team is so cool. I think this team is so cool. There's so many little intricate things that you can do here, and it features really unique Pokemon, like Iron Treads and Screamtail in really, really fun and creative ways. So Iron Head in there. And there. Even if you out, I don't remember if you tear it or have some weird tear, but like there's nothing you can do about it. Yeah. You're about to be taking those all the way to the bank, yo. What a cool team. The struggle was real, right? The struggle was real. We get we got them to struggle once, right? Didn't we get the struggle to happen at least once? Maybe. We at least skipped a couple turns with it, so uh Hey, we take this all the way to the bank. All right, it's another slacking, um, but like line them up, knock them down. Like we know exactly what to do against this. Let's see, slacking. So like you just intimidate this thing. This one's going to be like a skill swap Metacham play, but like if you intimidate the slacking, you basically just wreck the slacking and we can encore disable it. Even if they do all the cool stuff with Metacham, we're absolutely fine here. Um, we just we need to pivot correctly. I liked the iron treads. Um, it's good against a lot of stuff. So I will bring it again. Um, and realistically, Roaring Moon's probably the right play. I want to see this Roaring Moon set real quick. It's probably like heavy attack with speed. 
it's probably a really good idea to bring this guy this game scissor is great but like i think that you're going to be better off with the roaring moon because acrobatics does massive damage against that squad like so much damage they have a brute bonnet they have a metacham they have that uh bramble gas like you just shred them with acrobatics so let's see what they want to do uh i think the scrim tail here is amazing like i'm so excited for this we could have also probably just led like Scizor or Screamtail and went like Dazzling Gloom bullet punch and got Mikhail on it, but it's fine. Oh my god, dude, the Dazzling Gloom. I'm gonna do it. Dude, there's no way. Alright, Bramble Gas. So they're probably Tailwinding, right? I don't care about the Bramble Gas. Does it get Trick Room? I'm gonna look this up. Professional YouTuber, that's plus one. I don't think you get Trick Room. No way, bro. They don't just give everything trick room. No, you got, you got, you got bad moves. You got the, you got the bad moves. <sighs> do we steal Terra here? Yeah, we do. This is the cover steal Terra on their, um, their Hydragon. And I don't know what move they're using with the Bramblegast. I think they're trying to go, like, Tailwind. And I would love to see a Protect Bramblegast Tailwind from Hydrogon, because we're just going to KO, and then we Encore into Protect, and then we win the game. Fast Encore users are really, really good. They're, like, really good. CC? Oh my goodness, bro. And even if they were Sash, there's that Sash, bro! Right? You have to be Sash, right? You didn't just eat that for breakfast, did you? Oh god, they just did, bro. Either way, they're gone. Dunzo! Cool, and now if you do something weird, we can just Encore it. Like, we Seed? Encore. Seed Bomb. Go for it. We're a Steel type. We can Encore that. And you took Life Orb damage. Nice. Nice. It's definitely Encore, but let's see if you have something that checks us. We can also just switch out and save our Intimidate for later. Dude, do we actually do this? I kind of want to do this. I kind of want to just click, like... Close combat into the Bramble Gast, expecting the slacking, because, like, why else would you bring this? It's fine. I'm just gonna mention him off the board. We can always lock that Slow King. Yeah, they just stayed in. Cool. They're gonna lose Metacham, maybe. It's neutral there. I should have went Raging Bull. It's my fault. 100% my fault. I should have went Raging Bull. Let's see, though. Screamtail stabs it. Trick him here. Yeah, I, sh I should have went Raging Bull. It's my fault. Reflex. So that's Encoreable. We fucked Medicham, huh? You know we break those, right? Like, dude, break the walls down. Phantom Force, huh? You know how savage it would be to self Thunder Wave my own Taurus to be able to hit them? <laughs> yeah, we're fine. You actually don't do any damage. This is just in case uh, Raging Bolt doesn't do it. But this breaks your screen. Yep. Cool. So you can hit us with a Life Orb Phantom Force, but it doesn't do any damage. Yep. And there's nothing else we can do down there. We could have pivoted, but there's no reason to show our mounts in the back. I don't think I'm dead. Yeah, dude, we thick out here. And we're almost about to use our berry. Almost. I like Citrus better on this Pokemon. It's just me. And this is slacking, right? Yeah, that ain't it. This is where our protect would be savage on this guy. Um, but we can just go Raging Bull into that thing, get it off the board. And just a Thunder Wave into this thing to help neuter it. Terastalize. Terastalize, my guys. It's big slacking energy, huh? What's the plan, slacking? Dude, you're going to dumpster my Tauros, huh? We'll see about that one, Chief. Alright, that thing's down. Resisted, and we still take it out. And... Big Thunder Wave. Nice. Got speed control just in case. Can also potentially skip their turn. And they're going to be loafing around next turn no matter what. Drain Punch. Nice play. What's he to go after? Alright, we can just come in with like so many different things. I think Roaring Moon's probably the right play. It's not going to stab the Acrobatics, but it's going to be super effective Acrobatics. And then we just go Dazzling and Gleam Acrobatics. And then we do a Disable of the same move, because we're baiting them into going for that move. Like, oh, it's so nice. Like, Encore Disable so good! 
Ooh, it's shiny. Shiny Roaring Moon. First time, huh? Boost Energy is going to activate, and it's going to allow us to go for Acrobatics, which only gets double damage if our item is gone or been used. So since we already used our item, this makes this Acrobatics, which is normally 55, into a 110. It doesn't stab it, but it's still a lot of damage. And uh, look at this. It's a good amount of damage. We don't even need to go for any Encore Disable strats. They have to loaf around for a turn. And uh, there's the Truant. And we take those wins. Cool. Cool game. Yeah, weird weird amount of slackings. Um, but I do think that this team is really, really cool. And I think I know a couple ways we might be able to slightly, slightly optimize it. So what we're going to do now is go take a look at the team that was submitted. You can see it again is going to be right here. Uh, we're going to tweak some of the EVs, tweak a couple of the moves, and generally just get a better idea on what we need to do with this team. So the first thing I usually like to do is take a look at the defensive type chart. This team has amazing defensive typing. Um, we have a couple weaknesses to fire on things like Scizor and Iron Treads, I believe. Um, and those are re big resisted by like Roaring Moon, by Tauros, by Rotom as well. We have a couple weaknesses to water. Those are resisted by Tauros and uh, Roaring Moon. Uh, we have two weaknesses to fighting. Those are going to be on the, uh, on the Iron Treads and the Roaring Moon. And both those mons terrestrialize any mons that either resist that typing or uh, are neutral to it. So, and then we have two weaknesses, the Fairy on Roaring Moon, which rasalizes into normal and loses the weakness, and Tauros, which rasalizes into steel, which resists it. So, really, really good defensive typing on this team. I like this team a lot. And, uh, yeah, I think what we can actually just start doing right now, let's just go take a look at it. Let's start going into fixing some of the move sets first. This move set's great. I think there's not a single thing wrong with it. It's cool. It'd be nice to have for tech, but it has speed control. It has AoE. It has stabbed moves. It has Encore Disable. It's exactly what we need here. Tor, uh, Scizor. I think you need a Tailwind Mon somewhere, but I don't think it needs to be on your Scizor. So I would cut the Tailwind for something. Let's leave that blank for now and come back to it. Roaring Moon. I really think Roaring Moon is actually best built as the team's Tailwind setter. And so what I like to do with this Pokemon, maybe you've seen me use it in a couple other videos, is I really like going like Tailwind here. I like going Roost here and Acrobatics here. Make this Pokemon like all in on the whole booster energy strat. That's what I like to do with this Pokemon. I think it would actually fit very, very well in this team for like mid-game cleanup Mon. Rotom seems pretty nice. You could think about cutting Thunderbolt for Volt Switch, but I think this is a good set. Um, and then Iron Treads. Wild Charge is a bit of an enigma here, but I think it's kind of good in some situations. There's nothing else to really be doing on a Vested set, right? Um, you could put Ice Spinner if you're afraid of a specific type of terrain, but Wild Charge is good for dealing with like Mons that would normally give this team problems. So like you could Wild Charge Flying types and stuff like that. So I like the Wild Charge. It's also pretty good for like bundles and stuff like that, which are, you know, very popular. Tauros also has a great set. Uh, Wave Crash is okay. This actually was submitted as Raging Bull, which it should be Raging Bull. So now that we have all of the move sets fixed here, I think the last thing I would think that we would want to do is we don't actually need Faint on this slot. I think this would probably be better off as like a Terra Blast, realistically. Terra Blast is a pretty good option here, or even something like... Let's see, we can go Terra Blast. I don't think you need a Tailwind here. I just really don't think you need Tailwind. You already have your Bullet Punch, you have your U-Turn. You don't need a Brick Break. Um, you could technically even put like Swords Dance or something weird there. Um, yeah, I think you just throw Terra Blast here for now though. I like the Terra Blast there. It lets us, fu lets us function in like a little bit different situation. Now that we have all these done, let's start getting some of our movesets right before we actually take a look at going into fixing the EV spreads. Um, movesets right, sorry, I meant the items. Yeah, Papa Berry is a bit of a weird choice here. I think to actually make this guy work, you're going to need a Citrus Berry, and we're going to take the Citrus off a different Pokemon. Um, Scizor also, I don't think, needs Leftovers on this set. I know you have to Protect, but I don't I don't think you need Leftovers there. Burn Moon has to be Booster. This is where you want to put um, the Leftovers on your Rotom, because you already have the Protect there, and you're going to be able to weave that in all game. This guy needs Vest. This guy needs Mirab. So the Mon, the Mon that needs a weird item here is the Scizor, and this is where you Life Orb, I think. Um... And this is where your scissor just becomes like an absolutely massive bully. Like, you just come in and go, you're dead, you're gone. One, two, three, eyes on me. Cool. So that's a decent change right there. And now we start taking a look at these Eevees. Now, with this Pokemon, you get, like, you don't get diminishing returns really that much. You don't at all. But I do think that, like, this thing has such good stats. And I actually think you do still need to be full speed on it. I think you do need to be full speed on it. And after thinking about it, seeing like, oh, you can take some out of HP and put in other stats... I think you're actually fine here. You have uh, Intimidates with Palladian Taurus if you need it. It has great built-in Spadef already. I think you're actually fine. This thing's really thick. The only change I would really make is using a Citrus on it. The Scissor, though, on the other hand, you definitely can change some stuff on the Eevees. 
We talked about this in past videos, but Scizor shares base 65 speed tiering with a lot of popular Pokemon. If you scroll all the way down here to 65, you see that Scizor shares that same speed tier with Pelipper, with Orthworm, with Oinkalone, with Gothitelle, Glaceon, Frostmoth, Flareon, Banet, um, Skeleturge is 66, Corviknight 67, Houndstone's like one above that. He even goes a little bit lower to like, you know, Titar, Obama Snow, Oranguru, Sylveon. You want to be able to always outspeed these things. So what I would do is try to, at my very best, be outspeeding like the Skeleturge, which is just four in here. And then you want to speed creep Skeleturges that are speed creeping other things. So if Skeleturge were to put 12, that means we need 20 to outspeed that. So I think the most that a Skeleturge would do is 28, so we need 36. 36 to 44 is the magic number on Scizor, in my opinion. This also still doubles to be able to outspeed base 110s, I believe. So if we were to do like a 110, which is like hypothetically like a Raichu. And it also speed creeps things at speed creep Raichu. So Raichu's 110, Gengar's 110. There's a lot of popular 110s as well. Set that to 50, go like a 252 Timid set. And it gets to 178, so we're 180 and a Tailwind from our Roaring Moon. Um, that's not like super important, but we outspeed things that speed creep that by one point as well. So just a little bit safer. You can see we have a little bit of points wasted here. We're going to want to put at least four there and just take the rest of this out of attack because we have the life orb to cover up for it. Um, we can also, even if you want, if you want to be that guy, you can make yourself take less damage from the life orb and actually go like a 204. Actually, it's going to be a, right there. You can go to an 80, 188, and this make it so you take one less health every single time your life orb ticks, which I think could be actually beneficial. We could still, at that situation, go with probably a 252 plus here, and then we have extra points here to do with whatever we want, and I think they're better off spent in Spadef for a 28. So I think a set like this is really, really good. You're very, very bulky. You're way stronger, and you take less damage for every single time your life orb ticks. So good stuff here on the Scizor set. Roaring Moon, I'll show you the exact set that I use as well. Um, I like a full, careful... Roaring Moon that gives its booster energy boost to its special defense. I like it a lot. You only actually need um, four points in attack. You actually have extra points in attack. Um, you put 60 points in defense to cover up for a couple calcs that would normally hit you when you're... Uh, it, it, it's good against like Garchomp Rock Sides and things like that. And then uh, basically you just throw um, 188 here and you can throw four in the speed. And so every time your booster energy or Protosynthesis is going to activate, you're going to get a booster of death. And so this makes things like Iron Bundles, Freeze Dry, even against your... Uh, even a super effective one. Be like a three sorry be a four hit ko this makes moon blast and dazzling gleams here terastalize be like a five hit ko from fluttermane so very very good set this set is like amazing and this is a late game humongous carrymon that provides tail it basically you can always go protect roost protect roost tailwind protect roost protect roost tailwind protect protect roost tailwind this is permanent tailwind basically that's why how this mom plays so really really good stuff and that tailwind is what allows us to weave in these encores and the stables so that's why i really would recommend this i'm probably going to build a team very similar to this for myself in the future because i think it's so strong rotom i like what you're doing here i don't think you actually need to do that much different but i do think you're wasting points having your nature be like this because if you're if you're trying to get to 124 it's such a low stat line so let's try and keep the 124 and 141 but let's move around our nature so how many points do we need to get to 124? That's going to be like 124. Let's just take all these guys out. So you need 140 there. And let's see what would happen. And we, what was the original one? It had 92 and 4, right? Let me just make sure. I have the paste right here. paste right here. I will go check it out. The paste said 92.4. Awesome. That's what I figured. So you had 92 and 4. So it says we're wasting a lot of points here, but we want to see what, how many points we actually have left to spend, which is about 12, um, but with nature. So 20. So 143, we were able to get two points more in defense doing it this way because you get a 10% boost to wherever your nature is and a 10% boost to a 107 base defense stat is a lot higher than a 10% boost to an 86 speed stat. So we got the same exact speed stat, which is what you had. I don't know exactly what that stat was for, but like it outspeeds stuff probably. It's not wasting any points and you're able to get two more points in defense by doing it this way. So the set looked fine. I think you weave in leftovers as well. Seems like a pretty decent set, so go nuts. Great set. This guy, we can cut this up right here and go for like a 28 and cut these last up into four because one point in each 
four, four EVs in each translates to one point in each, and that's more value than just a straight HP point. Pretty good stuff, though. I think this is a good set. Um, this is probably a little bit weird here, but this looks like it outspeeds Garchomp. Um, Garchomp would be like a 102. So like a 102 would look something like... Garchomp gets to 169 Timid. So I guess you're like not even outspeeding that because you're not Jolly. So then what are you outspeeding here? Is it like base 90s? Something's wrong here. Oh, I said 190. <laughs> I'm like, what the hell? Yeah, 156. So you're not going to outspeed base 90s. So you would actually want to outspeed base 90s. I think 90s is the threshold for what you probably want to outspeed on this guy. So you'd probably be like 236 here, and then 2 244 would outspeed base 90s, and you would just take the rest of that out, and you just throw 12 in there. And that's that's probably the more effective way to do it. And if we're already going like that deep, what I would just do is go for like a 252 um, four set. And it, it looks a lot more simple, but like I think it gets the job done. And the Tauros, I think the Tauros has done very well as well. You could have the HP in the right stat. You have the H, you have the speed in the right stat, which you actually need on a Pokemon like this. Base 100 is a very, very popular number. And you seem good. I really like this team's Terras too. I think the last thing you would want to do is I like, do not think that you need um, this Terra here. What is one Terra that we could go here that would give us a better matchup against something? Like, I actually want to, if you want to double dip your Thunderbolt, be my guest. But you got your flying there, you got your water there. This, I would change to dark. And this, the only reason being is you'd be able to avoid prankster taunts. That'd be the one change that I would make here. So now that we've got this team potentially even um, sorted out, we gotta, we gotta save this, gotta get rid of the nicknames. Um, I, let's go test this team in some games and see how right, it does. So pretty standard. What can we talked about? Skeleturge. We can outspeed that with our Scissor. We also have Water Terror to be able to pin that guy super, super well. Uh, Iron Valley could potentially be a problem, but we can always like pin it if they're not full speed with our Screamtail and just set up Tailwind with Roaring Moon. So like, I think Roaring Moon Screamtail is actually a really decent lead. We can Tailwind over it, Thunder Wave the things we need, and then just Encore Disable stuff out. I think Iron Treads can be really good because like EQ, 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 like that a lot. And then we don't necessarily need to intimidate anything. I don't think we need the Taurus. I think the Scizor is probably a great mod to bring in the back here just to be able to revenge give some stuff. Um, they also have like potential for Magnet Pull Magnezone. So another thing that you always want to do whenever you're fighting a potential Magnet Pull mod and getting trapped is you always want to try to put your Steel type, if you're ever using them, on the left-hand side if you're leading with them. So if I were to lead Scizor and there would be Magnezone, I can just try and switch up my Scizor out. It would either let me or not let me, thanks to the Magnet Pull. But if, if it goes into the menu selection where I can potentially select my second move on something, um, that, that means that they're not magnet pull. That means they're analytic or sturdy. So you're able to scout for that by going for that. It's a little known tech. So in this situation, um, I don't really care what they want to do. I don't even need to do anything spectacular here. We can actually drop a protect in this situation and just go for, I think you can just deeply in here and see what they want to do. They can also go for like a flash cannon here. That's a little bit greedy, but like we could always just hard switch out that thing. We could just hard switch in iron treads and just go for a D-Gloom. That would break sturdy and set up. And then next turn, we would just hard switch out this guy back for our dragon or just go for an eq into it it doesn't really matter but there's nothing wrong with eqing or dazzling here fake on that slot's great this also blocks the ability to go for uh like a thunderbolt into that slot and it traps him in flashkin does not get the ko it does activate our citrus and in this exact situation like eq would ko that thing scroll this up there we go. eq would definitely get that ko and what we can do is we could have also just went turn one encore to lock them into a fake out that would have been a cool looking play It's actually better to just go EQ and Dazzling Gleam. If you want a Water Terra, be my guest. I don't want a Terra right now because we want to Terrorize our Scizor. There's the Reflect. We know that we can probably almost get them off the board just in general. We at least get the Magnuson off the board. Scrimtail is still hanging around. And we didn't need to Encore. Like, yes, they'll probably get a dual screen up from this, but like, I don't think there's a reason to go for anything spectacular there. I also really like the Deagle there to be able to cover up for a switch in into Valiant or something. There's the Skeledurge. Awesome. So they're probably going to Trastalize into something. I'm going to go for a knockoff into that slot. And I think I'm going to go for a, just a D when we be able to finish up there. That's my plan. And then we're going to set up the very best that we can for Scissor to come in, drop a Terrastalize, and just 1v1 the Skeleturge. That's the play that we're going for here. We see the Fairy Terra. Awesome. They still lose their Grim to the EQ. Nice. Knockoff's good damage there. And we knock off Leftovers. Great. Absolutely great. So we can just disable that right now. And then we can just hard switch in Scizor. Oh, that's so sick. And then we'll encore it. All right, so that guy could potentially outspeed us. They get the speed boost there. So they, they can actually get us off the board. They're probably going to go for this to get this off the board and then go for that there. So what we're going to do is hard switch out that guy. 
and go for a disable into that slot. And if you want to attack this slot and go for another one of those, that's weird. Because you would just be taking this full attack. And I don't think you want to do that. I think you definitely attack the scissor slot. Yeah. It's good damage against scissor, but like, it is what it is. Torch song disabled. And so now we don't have to do anything spectacular with scissor here. But we can just thunder wave and bullet punch. I think bullet punch is good. We don't actually have to terra. We want to save our terra for Roaring Moon, actually. And we just thunder wave that guy. We don't actually need to thunder wave it either, but I think it's still good. Yeah, thunder wave, that's, that's so much good damage. Shadow Ball into that, absolutely fine. Double Shadow Ball, OMG. This is okay. They both have screens up, but I think we're in a good spot here. Here we go. All right, we want to get the Iron Valiant off the board, I think. Because like, they can only really Shadow Ball. So this is where we would go Tailwind, I would say. Oops, we don't, we don't have to Tailwind. We could go Terastalize and Acrobatics there. We're gonna lose this Pokemon no matter what. That's the issue. Might as well just click the EQ. Force him to overcommit on a Roaring Moon. Let's see it. Protect, nice. Nice. That doesn't do anything, bro. Do you see that? Do you see that? That is nothing. Yo. And then we take those wins, bro. Oh my gosh, dude, this team is so good. They got dual screens, dude, don't even care. Do not even care. I will take those wins. Uh, we got some encores. We got, or sorry, we got a disable. Uh, we tunneled them exactly how we wanted, and we used the mons we wanted to in the way we wanted to use them. It's great. So let's go into one more. Let's go into one more, and uh, hopefully get you know one more clean win. I, th I think this team's like really, really good. The team that was originally submitted was very, very good, and so was this one. So really, really cool core. We see the Iron Hands bundle, which is going to be the you know, the bane of most teams' existence. This is where I was thinking about doing something different with the Rotom, but I think you just have to terrestrialize your Rotom. Or we can go with, like, Roaring Moon and try and play around. Like, we can go Roaring Moon, Rot Rotom, and Heart Switch and Tauros there. I, I don't hate that play. Um, and you get an Intimidate out, and then you basically waste their bundle's time, and you just tailwind over it, and then you just pin the bundle, and you win the game. So we're going to think about doing that, and I don't know if I want this guy. I don't know if I want this guy. I think I think you might want Screamtail still. Yeah, let's just go Screamtail. This Pokemon's still really, really good. So let's see if they go with the Hands Bundle. Umbreon, weird. And Roaring Moon. And they get a Speed Boost where we get a Spadef Boost. So we can just go for a Will-O-Wisp into that slot. And a Tailwind. We can even go Protect Tailwind. So Tailwind here and then like Protect. Like, I'm not afraid of that guy. Like, at all. Dragonus is fun. And we gotta hit the Wisp though. <laughs> like, I don't even mess around with that. <laughs> like, bro, we gotta hit that Wisp though. Valpoy, yeah, we don't we don't take enough damage to really care. They just scooped. Bro, bro, the scooperino. Let's go another one. Let's go into another one. Great. This is great testing. So we see Rotom. The Rotom checks out Rotom. I don't really want to bring it, even though it's good versus those. Um, Roaring Moon, though, is good here. It's good here. It's good here. It's good versus all those. So Roaring Moon's a great lead. And then I think Scizor could even be a good lead, too. Another thing you can also do with, like, Scizor is you can bullet punch a... Um, Sorry, not bullet punch. If you had faint, you could faint the talent plan. Um, to be able to break its gale wings, because faint would go before like a, a gale wings boost, and then you'd be able to hit it with something else. If you had like a fast rock slide or like a guard chomp, you could, but we don't. Um, Roaring Moon's a good lead. Like Roaring Moon treads seems solid here, with the potential of switching like Tauros to block uh, a Hydro, and then you get a good intimidate on any of those guys. And then you just need to I'm gonna bring Screamtail in the back because it's just great with speed control. Man, this team is so cool. If anyone wants to make this into a rental, I, like I said, I will definitely, I would definitely use this. I think this team's really good. I could see myself definitely taking a team like this back to Master Ball, and it's fun to play stuff like this. I think this team's like, unlike other teams in the meta, this one's actually like really fun to play instead of just like standard meta stuff. So we got a, I was gonna say an almost all paradox board, and let's see what we want to do here. Um, I think that like Tailwind, Hard Switch, and Tauros is good. We're potentially getting burned there or there but i think that like realistically it's fine they should be tailwinding right they should be tailwinding and trading with me fire terra there's the tailwind cool it's fine with me ow ow bro dude that hurts and so we traded tailwinds and so now we can just aqua jet that thing right we can just aqua jet there note that we did not terra did not have to if you wanted to go D Gleam, like be my guest, maybe, maybe I should have. Like, hindsight over 9,000. Maybe I freaking should have Terra. I think, I 
think I probably should have. Let's double into that slot, either way. Probably should have taken those two. Alright, I'm happy we're double dipping. Sunny day. It's a sunny day. The D Gleam is donezo. We blocked that D Gleam very easy. They're intimidated on Town Flame. They have Sunny Day Tailwind. I don't know how much I care, but I'm gonna bring out um, I'm gonna bring out the Screamtail. And I think Screamtail is gonna be very good for a couple of reasons. Gengar is great. We outspeed Gengar by one point. By one point. Uno points. And so we can just go Daz or Acrobatics in that slot, and we're just gonna go with the D Gleam. This would break Sash on Gengar, break Gale Wings, and it's great. Braver, it's fine. You do not deal nearly enough damage there. So D Gleam outspeeding Gengar by one point. Roaring Moon does not outspeed the Gengar. Curse Body happens, but it's no big deal. Wisp is the right play on Gengar. I really like to see that from our opponent. Um, but now we can just encore them into Wisp. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like that's the, the I actually, do we even want to? I think you do just encore them into Wisp and just acrobatics to get it off the board. Yeah. Make sure we still have speed. And then next turn, we're going to probably encore the Talon Flame. Cool. And there's a double disable. So now these next few turns, we're going to play a little bit passive. Wait for our um, ability to come back. I want to see if it's going to be... Oh, it's their Roaring Moon again. Yeah, they, I think they... Did they show this? They get a speed boost there. Let's see how much I actually care about this. Because, like, we have Tailwind. They can Tailwind, but I don't know if they're going to be faster than us. Like, normally they would outspeed us. We are going to try to Tailwind. And we are going to try, this is Dragon Dark. We do not hit that thing very well. We can Iron Head it. We're gonna try and Thunder Wave it. There's a Protect Talon Flame, wow. Iron Head, go nuts, Chief. There's our Citrus. There's a Thunder Wave. Retail, when now we outspeed there, we just Encore there. Bro. We're still disabled here, so we might as well try and Roost. And we just Encore the Protect. Talon Flame's neutered for the rest of the game. If the Roaring Moon does something, even a if it gets like fully paired, we can Disable. There's Protect Failure. Paralyze. Oh, dude! Nice. And we're still Disabled here, so we might as well Roost again. And we just Disable over there. Cool. Now we can Encore it. I think. Oh, we got a double protect, dude. I'm, I keep on getting double protected. All right, so you see they're, they're stuck using stuff like that. So there's their Encore ended over there. So this is going to be blocked. Um, let's see about Did I do that wrong? Right now, they are Encored and Disabled. They're Encored into... What is disabled? They, we disabled Iron Head, but we also... Yeah, we also encored into it. They saw they're struggling, and they, they just scooped. Yo, we did it. This team is so sick. There's so many cool little things you can do with Screamtail. This team's absolutely amazing. Again, the team that was submitted is also really good. Let's show you guys the rental code one more time. Please add this rental code to your own games. It's already basically the team that we talked about. It just has slight changes. It's going to be right here. Right here. I think this Citrus is actually really good, and the potential of Dark Terra on your Screamtail is actually really nice. But yeah, Encore Disabled Thunder Wave, very, very fun stuff. Outbeating those base 110s like we talked about. We actually ran Calyx for 110s like Raichu and Gengar, and then we fought Raichu and Gengar. Like, that's that's so good seeing the actual work that we're putting in come out and actually give us those wins. So really, really cool team. Add this one to your games. Again, if anyone wants to take the team that we fixed and make that into a rental as well, uh, be my guest. I'll definitely use it. So thank you so much to Claire for submitting this team. If you guys have teams you want to submit from your own games, think about sending those in on Patreon. We still have a couple more weeks for me to get to all of them doing one or two a day. And uh, yeah, I look forward to seeing you guys' teams. Other than that, don't forget to answer the question today. Let me know if you like the best of three open team sheet stuff I've been doing recently. And other than that, I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.